can I help you? Shouldn't she be in bed? Mate, have you been on one of those beds? They do, you're back in. What are you in here for? Well, I guess my food didn't like me back. Yeah, well, my mum's never really been much of a cook. She can't even tell the difference between salt or pepper. Why are you here? I can't remember. Well, you've got to be here for some reason. Oh, I'm, I've got amnesia. Oh, all oh, right. Oh. Yeah, the doctor's told me to stay here for a while. From what they told me, I crashed my car into the mountainside. The tires popped and ended up skidding. Hmm, I may not remember much, but uh, it hurts like hell. I can imagine. I was even in a coma for a long time. Really? How mm -hmm. long? Oh, yeah, yeah. <coughs> Amnesia. So do you have any friends or family waiting for you? Doesn't look like it. That's very supportive of them. I know, right? I mean, well, at least you can remember yours. I don't even know if mine exists anymore. Hey, cheer up, man. I'm sure your family misses you loads. I hope so. Don't lose that hope. Well, you're the first person I've spoken to since I've woken up and already you're feeling like family. That's nice. Is, is there any chance that when, when we get out of here you want to do something together? I'd hate to be that poor bastard. Sorry to say, but I think that bastard to me. Death has been at my door for some time now. I have a congenital heart defect. In my case, the pattern of my blood went an abnormal way. I was always going to end up here sooner rather than later. I hope you get your memory back, and I hope you find your family. Until then, farewell my friend. See you on the other side.